today we are announcing three impactful cases from my office in our nation's fight against the People's Republic of China's transnational repression activities. The first two criminal complaints that I am announcing shed further light on the extent of the PRC government's efforts to project its authoritarian worldview on the residents of this city and this country. The two complaints charge more than 30 officers with China's national police force, which is called the Ministry of Public Security, or the NPS, and two New York City residents with violations of US law. Unlike typical officers, the NPS officers who have been charged today are not focused on preventing crime. Rather, the complaints charge these NPS officers with engaging in transnational repression schemes targeting members of the Chinese diaspora community in New York City and elsewhere in the United States. And as shown in these complaints, the NPS has repeatedly and flagrantly violated our nation's sovereignty, including by opening and operating a police station in the middle of New York City. Two miles from our office, just across the Brooklyn Bridge, this nondescript office building in the heart of bustling Chinatown in lower Manhattan has a dark secret. Until several months ago, an entire floor of this building hosted an undeclared police station of the Chinese National Police. Now just imagine the NYPD opening an undeclared secret police station in Beijing. It would be unthinkable. Here's what we know happened inside the secret police station in lower Manhattan. At the very least, the station was providing some government services, like helping Chinese citizens renew their Chinese driver's licenses. But to do even that, the law requires that individuals like the defendants who act as agents of a foreign government give prior notice to the attorney general before setting up shop in New York City. That didn't happen. More troubling, though, is the fact that the secret police station appears to have had a more sinister use. On at least one occasion, an official with the Chinese National Police directed one of the defendants, a US citizen who worked at the secret police station, to help locate a pro-democracy activist of Chinese descent living in California. In other words, the Chinese National Police appear to have been using the station to track a U.S. resident on U.S. soil. The two defendants whose arrests we're announcing today destroyed evidence of their communications with the Chinese National Police when they learned of the FBI's investigation. These two defendants knew they had something to hide, and they obstructed justice in an attempt to prevent the FBI from learning the full extent of what they were up to. Liu Jianwang and Chun Jinping were arrested earlier this morning at their homes in New York City. As alleged, the defendants worked together to establish an overseas police station in Manhattan's Chinatown on behalf of the Fuzhou branch of the Chinese government's national police force, the NPS. These defendants did China's bidding in secret while acting under the direction and control of, the, of an MPS official in China. Chinese政府反对美方诋毁污蔑抹黑，大搞政治操弄，恶意炮制所谓跨国镇压叙事，并公然对中国执法和网际部门官员提起诉讼。美国长期通过秘密监视、非法监听、全球追捕、幕后交